Radhika, uh, you know, two questions to you. Where is Mr. Devendra Fadnavis? Is he in his constituency in Nagpur or is he in Mumbai? And what about the central leaders, you know, Bupendra Yadav, Ashwini Vaishnav? Are they sitting in Delhi and monitoring it or are they very much in their Mumbai office? You know, until yesterday, Bupendra Yadav was in Mumbai. Devendra Fadnavis is in his residence, is what we are hearing. There is a possibility he will come to uh, our BJP office where we are standing. Um, perhaps he may take a press conference. This is obviously, uh, you know, although we're not calling elections yet, this is a, uh, you know, the early leads are suggesting that it is a landslide, landslide victory of sorts for the BJP. Uh, you know, excellent strike rate for the BJP and very closely followed by Shiv Sena. So, yes, uh, Fadnavis is expected to come to BJP office not entirely certain when Eknath Shinde also expected to make an appearance of course Anuj is standing there where Eknath Shinde is in Thane post which of course he will be making his way towards town and there could be a joint press conference after things become clear uh, but you know as far as the Mahayuti is concerned the next step will be uh, chief ministerial post we know that both Shinde Sena as well as BJP have done remarkably well at least so far as the you know initial lead suggests if this is what the trend is going to be and if it is the Mahayuti that is going to come out victorious then it will be a discussion on who the chief minister is going to be remember 26 is when the term is ending um, so by 26 if they have to take oath before 26 on 25th perhaps uh, then they will have to come up with a name for chief ministerial position is it going to be Devendra Fadnavis uh, or is it going to be Eknath Shinde? That is a question uh, that will remain. But at this point, I'll just show you around. This is the BJP office here. A lot of movement, uh, a lot of uh, leaders had been going in and out of this particular place, holding small meetings and discussions. Uh, there is a huge projector monitor as well, which is showing uh, uh, results. Uh, uh, results too. Uh, so this is where all the celebrations could also take place. Sometime back, as I was pointing out, laddus were also brought in, which clearly indicates that they are sure of a victory uh, even after uh, multiple rounds that will uh, complete in say an hour or two. Uh, so yes, this is the situation as far as uh, Mahayuti camp is concerned. Certainly celebratory, victorious Sanjay Raut in denial saying there is foul play, this can't be it, these can't be the real numbers or something he's been saying, which is expected uh, from MVA considering uh, the abysmal numbers uh, that are showing as far as the MVA camp is concerned. The picture becoming clear at 11 a.m. on the top of 11 uh, in all 288 seats, of course, uh, six to seven rounds of uh, counting is over. Uh, the Maha Yuthi are 223. If these leads consolidate into actual results, it would mean that Maha Yuthi is heading for a landslide victory in Maharashtra, never seen before in Maharashtra's history. So for the first time in, in perhaps uh, several decades, um, uh, a government would be coming up with a landslide victory. In Maha Vikas Agari, all the three alliance partners' strike rate is below 20% at the moment. The Congress, the, 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 the Shiva Sena uh, of Uddhav Thakre and also of NCP Sharad Pawar, all of them performing really poorly. And as far as the strike rate of Mahayuti is concerned, it seems to be in upwards. BJP no. at 84%, Shiv Sena of, uh, of Eknath Shinde at 71%, and NCP at 62%. Before we go, go back to our reporters in Maharashtra, let's also at uh, top of 11 o'clock talk about the situation in Jharkhand. Absolutely fascinating. At one stage, it appeared that the NDA was up ahead. But let's bring out the numbers on Jharkhand for a moment and let's just go through it before we come across to our reporters. Uh, the India Alliance at this stage, um, and remember what is taking place in Jharkhand is a slower round of counting than it is in Maharashtra. The India Alliance is leading at 51 uh, the NDA in 28. So the change uh, is the India Alliance up three, the NDA up one as well. The others that are a factor under, are, uh, are down four from last time around. But again, very early days. My colleague uh, in Ranchi, Prabhakar, joins us. He's outside the, uh, the Chief Minister's residence. Give us a sense of what's Stand happening by. over there and how many rounds of counting are you aware of which have, which have taken place? Prabhakar, go ahead. Yeah, uh, the last update uh, with us was uh, of uh, four rounds of counting, but uh, 
the numbers are cementing now. Numbers are cementing now, and it's uh, it's, 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 it's going India block way. We all uh, know that the India Alliance is going India Alliance way, and but we are parked right now at uh, the Chief Minister's house. Here, the celebration has not started. Even at the GMM office, they are holding their horses. They are, they are probably waiting. Uh, they'll wait for some more time, actually, for numbers to settle down. And then you will see the laddus and the crackers uh, being distributed here and crackers being uh, bursted here. But as of now, it's a, it's a mega, mega comeback. Uh, it has never happened in Jharkhand. And it seems that uh, the way the GMM has actually... Uh, ...over there, we'll uh, try and get that back in a moment. But just in terms of the overall situation in uh, Jharkhand, it is fascinating because... Uh, the JMM has done well. The BJP, in terms of the lead situation, is where it was in 2019. Mm. Uh, the Congress is down four. That was somewhat expected in Jharkhand. They were always riding on the back of the JMM, in a sense. Uh, but it does believe that the overall situation is one okay. which favors the India alliance quite clearly. Do we have Prabhakar back with us at this stage? We'll try and fix that audio with him. Uh, but let's go back to uh, uh, Maharashtra, where... It's the opposite scenario with many more rounds counted. 288 of 288 seats, the counting has begun. Um, at least I would suggest eight rounds would have been done by now. The NDA <clears throat> ahead, many would suggest that this will start firming up sooner than okay. later. Let's, let's, no, I, I think we should go to sure. the man of the moment, uh, which is Eknath Shinde. What is happening at his Thani residence? Anuj, give us a sense. Have uh, the supporters of Eknath Shinde started arriving or is he very much locked inside his house away from all the limelight? As of now, he is pretty much, uh, you know, locked up in his house, but he's expected to come out anytime soon. And as you said, that close to 8 to 10 rounds, you know, have been counted all across the state and all the 288 seats. And one direction that all of these early trends are showing, I am saying early because time-wise, this still is early, but the gap between the NDA and the India Alliance, that is the Mahavikas Agadi here in Maharashtra, is increasing. And I'm outside Thane residence of Eknath Shinde, and as you can see, the activity around this place has increased. The number of supporters coming here has increased, and one can expect Chief Minister to walk out of his residence at any point of time. We've been interacting with a lot of Shinde Sena leaders since last few days, and they are very sure of the fact that it is not just the Mahayuti which will be coming back to power, but it is also Eknath Shinde who will be, you know, laying his stake, uh, claiming his stake very strongly for becoming the chief minister of the state. Uh, you know, it is under his leadership that they believe, the, you know, schemes like Maji Ladki Bahin have been popularized across the state. Mind you, it is not just Maji Ladki Bahin Yojana, but it is Mukhyamantri Maji Ladki Bahin Yojana, which means that the name of the chief minister has been going around with that scheme all across. Besides that, Eknath Shinde has gained a very good reputation all across the state amongst different categories. He comes from the Maratha community which is why he's seen as a safer bet by even the BJP RSS uh, cadre when it comes to the growing anticipation and the protest of the Maratha reservation protest. He comes from a farming background as well and he's got a very good hold over the farming community in the western Maharashtra. In, in Mumbai and close by regions, he's got a strong hold over the Marathi Manu sentiment and that was one of the conflicting ideas even in the Lok Sabha elections where the doubt was whether the core voters of Shiv Sena are going with UBT or are they going with Shinde faction while it was quite, uh, you know, uh, quite divided in the 2024 June elections. But right now, the picture seems to be much clearer where all the places where the Shiv Sena had their core voter base, be it the Western Maharashtra, be it Konkan region, or several other pockets where the Marathi population vote is higher in number, most of these places seem to are seem to be going with Shinde Sena, making him, you know, uh, validating his uh, presence and his position of chief ministership here in the state. Okay, so... Chief Minister, you know, Chief Minister, Mr. Eknath Shinde, who will be credited for this victory to a great extent.